Hello, my name is Darren Batterby of Snap-on Diagnostics. In the last issue, we spoke about Mode 2 of EOBD. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Mode 7 of EOBD and its strengths. So Mode 7 classed as Pending Diagnostic Trouble Codes, or you may find on a, on a different manufacturer's tool, it may say, Trouble Code Stored During Last Drive Cycle, but Mode 7 is what you're looking for within your diagnostic tool. So what's the benefit to the technician of Mode 7? Well, it retrieves intermittent fault codes that doesn't necessarily put on the mill light. So you may have an intermittent glitch within a vehicle. Um, it doesn't post a fault code because it has to see it three drive cycles, one after the other, to post a hard code. So the ECU will put this into pending codes if it's an emissions-based problem. So what can this, how can this benefit you as a technician? Well, this can benefit you by validating any repairs before you give it back to the customer. So you go on your road test, you, you believe you've, you've fixed the fault, you go on a road test, you come back, put your diagnostic scan tool back onto the vehicle and check mode seven. If that is clear, then you've validated your repair. But what you'll find is if there's still an issue with that vehicle, then that's the place to go and look. You may not have a fault code in OEM, or you may not have a fault code where it's put a light on the dash, but if there is still a problem and the ECU is monitoring it, then mode seven is the place to go and look. This, in turn, protects your relationship with your customer because they don't have to bring the vehicle back at a later date because the fault has reoccurred. So no light is present. Customer mentions an intermittent glitch to you. Why is there no mill light? Where do you go and look for your clues? Well, mode seven, go and have a look in mode seven. The mill light's not on because it hasn't seen it three consecutive times to post a hard code in the ECU. So it's our evidence to convict. So mode seven is a suspect code. The ECU is gonna keep monitoring it on its drive cycle. If after 40 drive cycles it doesn't see that glitch again, it will just delete it out of pending codes itself. But if it sees it on drive cycle 10, it will then hold that code for a further 40 drive cycles. So it gives you that time. You know, from a technician's point of view, there is nothing worse than a vehicle coming in and the fault not being present. But at least with this, you've got somewhere to go and look and see whether the ECU is monitoring an issue and for it to move out of pending into hard code mode three, then you need to see it three consecutive drive cycles. So remember that, that's very important. But it's there, so once set, it's stored for 40 drive cycles. If it doesn't see it, it automatically deletes that code. So three major benefits for you is intermittent problems, no light, no hard code, go and check mode seven, pending codes. But if you've got a problem in mode seven, remember we talked about mode two in the last issue, go and look at freeze frame data. Because if there's a problem in mode seven, it will store that one frame of live data at the point that pending code was logged. It validates repairs quickly after your final test drive. Inform your customers of possible future problems. You know, note mode seven on the customer invoice. You know, you can say to them, it's not an issue, but the ECU is watching it. Make sure, you know, it could be an issue at, later on in life. So you can cover yourself for those come back since your jobs. Okay, so always inspect mode seven, mode two, before you clear any fault codes. Never hit mode four in EOBD, because it don't just clear the fault code, it clears any related saved data that that ECU has recorded. Thank <laughs> you.